Okay, welcome to Opto HQ, our home. We've been involved in electric vehicle conversions for a couple of years now, and one thing that we're constantly seeing is massive costs. Everything is expensive. And we think there must be a way that you can convert your classic car to electric for less money. And we thought it was about time that someone did one that was cheap. So for this video series, we're gonna document how we've tried to convert a classic mini to electric power as cheaply as possible. Our ultimate goal for this conversion is to see how cheap it can possibly be done. If anyone's got any ideas where we've spent money that they wouldn't have spent or you could do things cheaper, then comment, let us know, because we're open to suggestions. So the first thing we did, obviously, was go shopping and buy some random parts. <laughs> uh, the first part we bought was an electric motor. This, this is the main thing that drives the vehicle. And after a little bit of research, and I'm talking a little bit of research, we decided that Mitsubishi Outlander motors seem to offer us the right power with a nicely packaged unit. It's actually made by Maiden. And this one's got 61 kilowatts of power, which equates to about 84 horsepower. But the main figure for us was the 193 newton meters of torque, which is instant torque straight away. The interesting fact about electric motors is the torque is instant from zero RPM. That's the bit that we think might make the Mini interesting to drive. We picked the rear motor rather than one of the front motors from an Outlander because this is water cooled rather than oil cooled, which helps with the simplification of the systems within the Mini. This is the bare motor, there's no differential or anything mounted on that, it's purely the bare motor. We paid £480 delivered for this motor. Next up is the inverter. The inverter has to be an Outlander rear inverter that suits the rear motor. Don't get a front inverter for a rear motor or a rear motor for, you know, don't get the wrong one. <laughs> Let's try again. Is it still recording? You've got to watch it on Outlanders because there's front inverters, rear inverters. If you've got a rear motor, get a rear inverter. Simple logic. This is also water cooled, so we're planning to plumb it all in together. We paid £250 for that delivered. The, another one of the main components in a EV conversion is a charger and you also need a DC-DC. So the DC-DC converts the 360 volts in the high voltage battery pack down to 12 volts for the rest of your car's systems like lights. Uh, I can only think of lights right now but the uh, windscreen wipers, they're 12 volts. Various things on your car that are 12 volts that you sort of forget about when you look at the electric conversion. So this unit holds the DC-DC and also holds the charger. This was £250. This is out of a Mitsubishi Outlander. But watch your part numbers because it's interesting. You need to get from around the same year. Another component that we're not sure if we're actually going to use or not is the heater. So in the Mini as standard, you've got a heater that uses the coolant that's pumped around the engine through the heater matrix in the passenger area, creates your warm air. Obviously when you're an EV conversion, the temperatures are hopefully a lot lower you won't get warm air from the coolant system cooling the motor and the inverter so the high voltage heater heats a separate coolant circuit which will be plumbed into the heater matrix within the passenger compartment provide us with instant heat as well whether we need that or not in an old mini that's a good question we'll find out mainly because we're going to do it without that and then see if we can fit that when you pick up these components, what we've learnt is some of them come with the cables cut, like this, which is absolutely useless to anybody. If you can manage to pick them up with the cables complete, that'll save you spending about £50 a cable minimum, if not £100 a cable. So when you look at the eBay auctions, check the pictures, make sure you pick one with all its cables included. Big cost saving there. As you can see, it's all Outlander parts at this stage. So we've got £480 in a motor, £250 in an inverter, £250 in a charger in DC-DC and £150 in a heater. That's the four main components that we've purchased so far. I'm not entirely sure how we're going to get all this to work together or how it's going to fit in the Mini, but the plan with the motor is to stick the, somehow convert the drive from the motor onto the original Mini gearbox that then uses the original Mini drive shaft and diff and make life a lot easier. So that's the intention with the motor. 
as for the rest of the stuff, it's going to have to go somewhere. If this is sat on top of the gearbox, we should have some room for the inverter. Maybe get the charger and DTD in the engine bay. We shall see. In the next episode, we're going to go out and buy some batteries because obviously all this stuff needs high voltage batteries. That'll be interesting. Thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it so far, I mean, there's not a lot so far. We're just talking about shopping, but it's going to get exciting, I'm sure. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. Tell your friends. All them things were on Facebook, we're on Instagram.